Your birth didn't stop the world. Perhaps we could say it was insignificant in the eyes of men. Even today we question and wonder what it all means, and sometimes it seems that the moment comes and goes just like any other. But I celebrate and rejoice because you stopped me in my tracks, train derailed, standing still in silence underneath the African stars, and I wondered what was happening. Motionless as my heart raced, this moment tasted different, unable to move, to explain, to understand. Why? Word made flesh. The Savior born in that moment in the manger of my heart. Life altered, pierced by truth, blown away by this holy wisdom and silenced by the love of a father. A love so great that I recognized it, felt it, desired to imitate it, to give away everything if it meant that I could become this same love. So I celebrate today, celebrate this birth, that his love, his face, his life, his humility has changed me forever. I celebrate and give thanks because it is not just an event that happened 2,000 years ago, but a relationship that I live right now. Never-ending fascination, falling in love with love itself, and it doesn't get much better. So my faith in his life, and I'll never be the same. For the word becomes flesh and dwells among us. Christ lives, he lives within me, and I choose to live in him.